Hey, it's Nicole, and for this tutorial, I decided to make a nail art look for my favorite movie, The Greatest Showman. So this look uses gel polish and a mixture of freehand with acrylic paint and nail stamping to create all these different images that you see here. So I started off with a glittery navy color on my pinky, and I'll, I'll leave links for products down below as well because I use so many different ones I don't want to have to show them all in the video. Uh, and then my ring finger, which is Zendaya's costume, I use a neutral base color and then purple on the sides making a, the v-neck shape. Then I use red on my middle finger and white on my pointer finger. So once that was cured, I took some glitter gel and I put it on, along the tip and there's some dots on the ring finger. And then I cured that and removed the tacky layer from all of my nails. Then I'm starting off with some stars that I just placed all over my pinky nail. And then I grabbed some music notes and did the same thing just in the open space. And then I took these words that say dream and I stamped them in gold and then black on top of it, which is a bit hard to see, but I don't want to use too much white. Next, I took this little floral border to the border around Zendaya's collar. And then I took some acrylic paint for the coat nail. That's all I use is acrylic paint. So I start off with a V on the top and then a line straight down. And then I took some gold acrylic paint to do four dots on each side for the little buttons. And I tried to keep them all even, but you know, there's only so much you can do with a freehand. And then I did a line connecting them to the edge. And then the middle, you can see in the pictures that there's like a little swirl, so I kind of tried to make a little swirl, but that's really hard to do on a little tiny surface and a brush, so just do your best, or you could just do a straight line across as well. And then I took some black to kind of outline the little necktie that he has, and I also went back in with some white to kind of add some texture and make the lines not so harsh. So just keep going back in with the black and the white until you're happy with how the collar looks. And then I took some liquid latex for my pointer nail because I'm stamping a full image on there and it's these vertical stripes in red stamping polish to create a surface tent look. And then I took some black acrylic paint to freehand it on a little top hat. So you could also go on and put a little gold ribbon along the top hat. I decided to just leave a solid black and then put the letters PT at the bottom which as you can see at the end, the letters on my right and left hand look completely different, but what can you do? <laughs> and then once everything was dry, I took flawless finish and I applied two layers over each nail because there is a lot of nail art and acrylic paint done on here and I want it all to be top coated so it'll be shiny and secure. So once that was applied, I cured it for 30 seconds, removed the tacky layer, and here's the finished nail art look, and you can see what I did on my thumbs there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next week. Bye!